Okay, Grand Rising, everybody. I know I, um, I look like a mom right now, right? Um, Y'all know I cut my hair, so I finally can put it in a low ponytail, y'all. So, um, it's growing. The rice water is doing something, right? Because I just cut it, like, literally a month ago. But anyway, um, I am on my way to my first appointment um, for my surgery. support that y'all give me thank you for everybody who's here we, we are at 27k subscribers in the last seven months and i'm truly thankful for you guys and everything else so please comment like and subscribe leave comments below i love to hear you guys' journey i might <laughs> can reply to all you guys but i do see those so we're gonna get into Hey everybody, the Um, how is everybody? Hope everybody is well. Hey everyone, <laughs> it's me, your favorite, <laughs> Joshy Josh. <laughs> um, this video is um an update on my journey. And so, um. I wanted to fill you guys in. So, for the last five months, I was getting different testings and stuff on my uterus um, to figure out what was really wrong. Um, 
everything like on my uterus my ovaries etc etc and now we are here and what i mean by here is um the other day i recorded a video of my post op on my pre-op right mm -hmm. pre-op pre-op surgery um my surgery and um i gotta take two I don't want to miss on you know, accidents. <laughs> no, I know. Um, so my surgery is in the morning. What time is it? It is ten forty nine. It's ten forty nine. Last meal. Last meal. So I'm eating great <laughs> um, because I can't eat after twelve. I've already ate dinner, but I'm just like you know. Eat what I can before 12 o'clock because in the middle of the night I get real, real hungry. Okay, so this surgery is um, for my uterus. Um, we did a test. I did two tests on my uterus. We did um, this kind of dye where they put it up your vagina and um, they watch it on the x ray and they see where it goes through your uterus. And two of my, and you have two tubes, and my left right tube is, she's she's very blocked and damaged. Um, she's damaged a lot. The good thing that they did say about my uterus is that it's very healthy, but I do have a blockage. So um, when I go to my surgery tomorrow, they will be removing my left tube and possibly my right, depending on how healthy my right tube is. And then they will be cleaning my uterus. Now, if they remove both tubes, um, i never really be able to get pregnant again, ex especially um, naturally. Um, even having my left tube removed is still um, a possible chance that I could never really get preg pregnant naturally again. Um, but... They're taking out that left tube because they can't fix it. Um, they can't fix the damage. The damage to it um, happened from things that happened in my childhood till now. Um, so um, when I was younger, things happened to me from you know the age of six and up, and so. Um, different things that you don't know about especially at that young age that happens to you and you're carrying with you for so long can really damage you um especially when people your people who are watching after you are really watching after you if that makes sense um so yeah it was it's it's a tough situation um I don't really want to get into it because uh, we already know I'm emotional ball and we don't need to get there. <laughs> we seen what that did. I'm going to eat my grape on that. Um, but I will say that um, it did damage me. Um, it damaged me physically, mentally, and emotionally. Um, we also did a little testings on my eggs to see why I kept miscarrying and stuff. And I just turned 26. And because of what happened to me when I was younger, it kind of damaged my eggs very, very bad to the point where they're very bad. And they're not as healthy or strong as they should be for me to be just turning 26 so um that was also one of the things unfortunately it's a sad situation but i'm very thankful that god has taken me and guided me and given me some kind of guidance and knowledge and we getting some somewhere um, the doctor said uh, I was really never really supposed to get pregnant off those eggs um, ever. And I've been having this problem since I was young. 
real young so it's a bittersweet moment for me i'm very nervous what else yeah so the surgery tomorrow i'm gonna cut open my stomach i won't have my pretty little stomach no more i have three scars on my stomach and i'm kind of sad about it they're gonna be small and light watch he says that um <laughs> so yeah i'm very nervous but hopefully you know this is a step into whenever i'm ready to have a baby it'll be a healthy baby and a healthy journey and a healthy pregnancy and with god's blessings i'm just so thankful you know and i've been praying about this since i was so young and to finally get answers i remember just crying to god like why can't i have a baby why can't i have a baby but and to see how many years have gone by and i'm finally getting the answers it's really a bittersweet moment and it's also saying to be patient with god and wait on god's timing um and believe in him you gotta have you know faith and um don't question him you know it's probably best that all those things happen to me so when i get here and when it's time to have a baby i'll have the healthiest baby ever um i'll be stronger than before he swears we're gonna name this baby joshua <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i'm just pretty excited for that whenever that time comes that i will be ready and prepared and we'll have um low chances rather than high chances because we have knocked out a lot of the issues. bad issues out so we are waiting for tk y'all know that it's my bestie um she's supposed to be taking me in the morning is she on the way yet she's supposed to she said she was leaving at 10. she said she got a backpack um my little sister um has became very clingy so she's like, I don't want to go to practice. I don't want to go to school. I just, I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. <laughs> and um, so um, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm not going to lie. It's because you just never know the outcome. Well, I'm excited and I'm the best auntie in the world. Y'all heard, you heard that? <laughs> <laughs> what you call that? Auntie? <laughs> so, um, I have to get up at four in the morning. I will get up and record that for y'all. TK is going to vlog the rest of the way because I will be out of it. Um, they will be dosing me with a lot of things so I cannot feel the pain. And then when I get out, I'm going to be still on the, the medicine so she's gonna vlog for me i'll be vlogging in the morning when i wake up and on my way to the um doctor's office um i wanted to continue to share this journey with you guys because i had got so much feedback and a lot of women who were going through the same thing so maybe you guys can you know go do what i did and um take those steps um so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get ready for our journey. We're vlogging. Uh, put my bonnet on and my glasses on. And we're vlogging. And we're vlogging. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> what are we here for? Uh, the start. Uh, your process. Jessica's hair. Jumpsuit. Okay. 
with some hair perfume in it. I don't know why I'm putting it in there. Just put it in there. And then I gotta brush my teeth. nervous y'all there's my sister in my bed she felt like she needed to sleep with me tonight which whatever bye bye <laughs> She's ready. Uh, you like my pink little outfit? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm nervous. I fall down. We are on our way. Um, what? What is my feelings right now? Because we can't have music in the background. Or, um, yeah, for copyright stuff. For copyright stuff. Um, what is my feelings right now? I'm scared. I'm nervous. It's like a make it or break it type of deal. Um, but I prayed to God this morning. I wrote in my journal and I prayed. To, I, pr I wrote down my prayer this morning, and um, I will pray before they put me to sleep. I'm leaving everything in God's hands and I believe that God has me over this journey and I'm super excited. What do you guys say to game? I'm super excited too. Ah, I gotta pay attention to driving. Okay, let her pay attention to driving. But yeah. finally here after driving around the parking lot five times because she's like this is not the surgery center <laughs> this is not the surgery center we gotta drive around and we drove around for real like five times yeah. just to see this shit ten times it'll be all right so we're here we are here how are you feeling I'm nervous why are you nervous 
know. For a lot of reasons. <laughs> You'll be all right. Probably the, one of the most important surgeries you'll have ever in, my life. ever in life. Let's hope that it is. Yeah. Okay, Marissa was right. We are at the lo wrong location. <laughs> and we need to take about a half a mile drive up the street. So, did I get an apology? No, you don't get no apology because you couldn't tell me where to go. I told you this. It was the wrong spot. We got to go here. Where is here? I don't know. Wait, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop getting all my mistakes on the camera. <laughs> I mean, at least we gave ourselves some time. It's six already? Yeah. Well, let's go. You can speed up the video here. I said speed it up, not run. Uh, in great Marissa fashion. She is currently looking for a mask that who gives a fuck about. They care. You should care too. They care, they care. Ooh. Okay, we're here, y'all. And I'm so nervous for the 30th, 50th time. But whatever. <laughs> You'll be all right. Bye. Okay, attempt number two. We'll see if we're in the right place this time. Because honestly, if it's not the right place, we walk and we ain't driving. We're not going, Abel. <laughs> and I'm going to need for you to stop tripping on them slides. Do not look. <laughs> I'm gonna be off in my surgery, y'all. Um, I gotta put tubes down my throat, hella anesthesia, and all kind of stuff. Gotta cut me open. I'm in this little blow up cover. Um, they're gonna take me back in a minute. Mm -hmm, it's warm. I have no clothes on. I'm nervous. I'm so scared. But that time. So how do you feel? I'm About to start. No. How much longer do you have before you go back? Twenty five. Did they tell you how long it's gonna take? Yeah. How long? We need to ask. Hmm. This was a process getting here. Okay, 
Do you still feel trapped? You feel better? Wiggle your toes. Still feel trapped? You feel less trapped? You'll be back soon. Smile. You can smile bigger than that. No. You'll be okay. You don't start crying, Marissa. So I just got back to the car. The procedure is going to take about mm, three, two to three hours. And then she's going to have to sit for another hour. So I'll be waiting here until about 12. Um, I work remotely, so I'm working in the car right now until Marissa's out. We'll check back in when she's done. One more step. Well, actually, a lot more steps when we get in the house. Come on. All right. Okay, so um, this is the day after my surgery. So yesterday was very intense. I had videos on my phone that I did not even remember taking. I, I talked to my dad on the phone. Then we were talking to my dad. Um, it was kind of, I ain't gonna lie, it was painful. But they did dose me up. But I could still feel the pain, so they had to give me more medication. Um, I have three marks on my stomach. That's on my left side and my right side and down my belly button. Um, they took out my left tube. They said the right tube is normal and they cleaned my uterus and stuff for like blockage. That's normal for women. And then they said I had a little bit of scar tissue in my uterus, but that is okay. So now we are on our way to get my prescription. They gave me a prescription yesterday, but they had went to four different um, doctor called this morning and asked me how I was doing and I told her I couldn't get my medicine and so she found another place where you go get it because I do need it because I still hurt it's still kind of hard for me to get out of bed 